and thanks for joining me today. Back in the garage again. Got a nice little treat today. We have the X Tool Advancer. Now this one is the AD20. These are cheap as chips, less than 20 quid. I pop links in the description for it. This should be a really good EOBD code reader dongle that you use with your smartphone. Um, let's have a look in the box, just see what we get. Okay, so it is really straightforward. We've got a little uh, instruction book there, and we've got the tiny little dongle, <laughs> tiny little dongle here. Um, that's really small and cute and dinky and lovely. Look at that little fella. Plugs straight into the 16-pin EOBD socket that's on most vehicles now, or almost every vehicle from uh, 2000 onwards, really. Um, yeah, this will plug straight in. What we'll do is just scan the little code on the back and get the app downloaded onto the phone. So if you live your camera up on your, on your smartphone, scan that on the photo section, takes you through to the app store. You just press get and download the uh, app with a double click. Watch it loading up. And once it is, you just open it up and you're into the, the app. Put in a email address and a password, just make your own up, log in, allow the Bluetooth to work, and then you're ready to activate the device. So the app's in and it looks really sweet. It's gone in, it's gone in nice and quickly. It looks nice and easy to follow as well. So what we'll do, we'll go out to the car, we'll plug it in and give it a go. Yeah, this has gone a lot more smoothly than the last one I had, which was this one, the uh, EOBD Diagnostic Code Reader from Streetwise. Um, and uh, the trouble with this was the apps. I was struggling with the apps. It's very similar looking, it plugs in, it's, it's cheap again but the apps that it was using were really, really poor. Couldn't get anything that was consistent and uh, consistently good. So yeah, I've not used that. I've moved over to other stuff, uh, other code readers, and that's just gone on the sideline. Um, yeah, bit of a disappointment that one. So I'm hoping that the X tool with its advancer app is gonna be the bee's knees. Let's go and try it. Right, so we've got the little bug. This is a 2008 107. And it's a great uh, little car to try this on. We've got plenty of little features that we can uh, adapt to and have a look at some live readings if it all works well. So we've got the little dongle thing, the X-Tool dongle there. And we'll plug it straight into the EOBD socket, which is here. We'll get it the right way up. We'll stuff that in the hole. It's in, it's flashing. Pop the ignition on. It then asks us to pair the dongle to your phone. So you've got to pull it back out of the car and just scan it with your camera, which the app is just explaining everything to you. So we just scan that quickly and then we plug that straight back into the car again. Now it's found it. it. Tells you where to put it on most vehicles. And then it's actually now going to log the dongle into the vehicle. So you just got to find the vehicle. If you've got auto a scan if your car is 2010 and newer it will do it automatically but this one's a 2008 so I've had to put the details in myself and it just takes us into the self checking there so it automatically does a, a scan on your car and it says this one's in good condition you've got information there you can do quite a few items but we're entering in this one we're going for the quick test just to see what it comes back with so it's uh, battery voltage coolant temperature engine load which is obviously it's idling at the minute engine revs remaining fuel which there isn't any in the car it's absolutely empty i've got to fill it up a uh, throttle position is at 10 percent intake temperature 24 degrees intake pressure battery check we can do that we could do a smog test uh, or really in-depth check eobd fault code check which it would have picked up at the beginning so um, yeah quite a nice little tool that let's go straight into the battery check I fancy giving this a go. Let's see what it comes back with. This is a reasonably new battery, so we'll just uh, do what it says. Turn off all the accessories. Turn off the engine. That just lets the battery settle down a bit. And then it's doing its analyzing on the battery now. Be quite interested to see what it comes back with on this one. And there we have it, battery's good, which is uh, what we knew anyway, but it's just nice to see it on the screen there and that the machine's working and doing what it should. We'll go back to the main screen again and see what else we can find. Let's try the in-depth check and see what that can pull out. This should check quite a few different ECUs, programs on the car, 
and give us any uh, any faults that are knocking about. Control system, su supercharging system, which it's not got that. Fuel system, it has. Cooling system, air intake, emission system, ignition charging, lubrication, starting, immobiliser, booster, fuel system. So this is a generic list, but the things that are compatible with this car, it will show. But there's nothing wrong with this one. It's actually gone through all of those systems and come back with a clean bill of health again, which is, uh, yeah, spot on. If there was a fault, it would show it, as I'll show in a minute. We'll go back on the back arrow there at the top, take us through to the main menu again, and we're going to look at some live data readings. So let's go into the live data menu. This is showing us straight away some basic functions, engine RPM, coolant temperature. But down at the bottom, we've got check more sensor data. So let's have a look in there. This has brought up a nice list of sensors and systems that we can look at. All sorts of things in there. Engine RPM again, vehicle speed. Um, we've got oxygen sensors. We've got fuel trim. Throttle position. Yeah, some nice ones. So let's uh, whiz down and just have a quick look at the oxygen sensors and see what voltages we're going to get out of those. We can't look at it on graphs on this one, but we can see it in numeral terms. And there we go, look and they're fluctuating like they should. So that's quite a nice readout. Air intake temperature. And we can just keep clicking through these, picking ones out that you want to have a look at, doing multiple ones at the same time. And we'll go back to the uh, main menu again. Down at the bottom there, you've got application center and these are all the little apps within the app. Um, and that takes you through to these different ones, which is nice, you can get it to all the little functions got DIY corner which is quite interesting we've got these dashboard displays and you can actually get your phone up on your dashboard in a holder with live readouts and these little dashboard displays running while you're driving around and you can leave this connected all the time you can have it permanently connected in your car you've got different displays there different ones you can choose from quite vivid and lively look at those uh, showing everything from fuel gauge revs speed load on the engine and everything so they're quite interesting those quite nice Next one we've got is performance. So this is a little performance test you can run where you just click start when you're ready to go and then you nail it as fast as you can down the road. We'll do that in a minute. You've also got trip management which just gives you a log of everything you've done driving the car. You've got mode six on here which is uh, another emission related function with live data readings permanently. We can then go to component test. This one will give you um, component testing on throttle body and a couple of other bits and pieces and it does a test on them and just tells you if it's uh, functioning well as that one is which is great okay let's go for it then performance test let's see what we can do how fast will the little bug get from 0 to 60 start here we go and we're testing i'm absolutely flat to the floor with this one full acceleration i've got to fast forward it a little bit that's cheating but it turned out on 17 oh no 18 seconds from 0 to 60. <laughs> Faster than a GT3, that. Right, so let's drop a little fault into this. At the front here, we've got top ex uh, exhaust oxygen sensor. So let's just um, disconnect that. There we go. So we've pulled the plug on that. That should now throw a fault in. Let's fire it up. Straight away, as soon as we uh, power this up again, it's uh, gone in red, saying there's a f they've found a fault. We'll just run the quick check on it. And there you go, two faults found, both of them related to the oxygen sensor that we've disconnected. So yeah, crack on. Let's just clear this fault off now. We'll try clearing it with the DTC at the bottom there. And uh, we've reconnected it. And as you can see there, everything's uh, cleared and it's done the job. Right, let's get it into the 2010 318 diesel BMW. Plug the uh, little dongle into the EOBD port there, which is just by the driver's accelerator pedal on the kick panel. Pop the ignition on. Give the button press there away we go and we're in so now we just got to pair the the dongle to the bmw so it uh, you have to take it away from the peugeot and just re redo it to the bmw with ignition on connection success and as you can see because this is a later model year it's 2010 it's actually found the uh, vin code on this one automatically i've not had to put any details in there so it will go and do its uh, self check and then we can do the quick test as well just whizzes through everything there and it hasn't found any faults on the car, which is strange because I know it's got some faults on it. So um, let's just have a little look, see what we can do. Because it says at the top there, some items can be optimized. So let's just crack into a different menu here. In-depth check. 
straight away this is looking good because it's downloading some data over the net which is BMW specific which is always going to be a good thing and it's checking it out it likes the engine it's doing a decent deep oh and there we go it's found the faults so it can do it it can do it you just got to yeah go into the in-depth and download the actual specific software for the car and there's all the faults that I know are on the car which is uh, yeah that that's really good that's a really good bit of kit as you can see there at the side it says current and history so we should be able to reset this clear the codes and it'll come back with just two codes on it yeah they will be the current ones so let's give it a go we'll just click on the uh, I've fixed it and reset it we'll let it do its thing and then uh, we'll just recheck it and just make sure it's got rid of the codes here we go it's doing its business and hopefully it'll just come back saying there's two faults left and they're the current ones yeah there we go two faults found so the two that was history it's got rid of those two and we've just got the current faults crack on so let's try going into the live data and see if we can get some decent sensors out on this one as well we're going to check more sensor data at the bottom there and see what it can find so we've got a nice selection of codes and uh, sensors and systems there we can have a look at We'll go back to the home page and we'll just check the full EOBD2 function there and see what we get on the BMW. Now again it's going into the iCloud or the cloud menu to get the data that we need to interrogate the ECU which is a good sign. I do like that when it gives me that sort of information. It, it means it's looking hard. It's come back with some protocols there and we'll go for the auto scan at the top just to see if it can figure out which one we need. And there we go. We've got a nice list of uh, sections we can go into trouble codes clear codes live data freeze frame read information IM readiness which is all about emission cycles and how complete they are mainly for the states we don't really get involved in that in the UK but if that's failed in the states then it won't pass its uh, MOT test um, and here we go so we've got lots of sensors in there that we can look at so that's quite a uh, comprehensive list of sensors that we can go for fuel pressure rail or fuel rail pressure there which is uh, yeah there's lots of good information there that we can go for for 20 pound this is really comprehensive for your engine management diagnosis it's not bad at all some of the stuff there won't allow you to go into um, some of the stuff it will some of the stuff it won't so we could do some component testing we can't do um, freeze frame mode not available because there's no data in there at the minute we haven't got a fault that's got the freeze frame data on it right let's go back to the home page we'll go back into the application center at the bottom and uh, let's have a look at look component testing and see what we can get on this one yeah, that looks a little bit generic because it's coming up with a throttle carbon build-up test which this is a diesel car so it's not really got a throttle to build up carbon like on a petrol car um, so yeah, it's a little bit strange, but I'm going to run the test on it and just see what it says because it's quite interesting. It has got swell flaps and stuff in the throttle, but um, it's not really got a butterfly-controlled stepper motor uh, like like the one shown in the picture. Maybe the uh, well, yeah, like you're saying, it's but I think that's because this vehicle doesn't have one. That's why it's just thrown a bit of a wobbly there. But uh, yeah. It still goes to show you need some basic knowledge of the mechanics of the car, otherwise you could be thrown off quite far on some of these uh, sort of answers that it's giving you. You've got to use a bit of common sense as well. Well, there we have it. What a cracking bit of kit. The little uh, X-Tool AD20 Advancer. Brilliant. Really, really good bit of kit. Impressive. It's the best dongle that I've come across and tried the app and everything works yeah, pretty seamlessly. It was really good. If you've not got a code reader, then... 20 quid it's a great investment really because i mean it does all of your engine management diagnosis it pick your codes out we could clear the codes if you've enjoyed the video um drop me some comments in the box always love your comments i'll pop links in the description so you can get your hands on one of these little fellas um yeah if you've enjoyed it drop me a thumb, little thumbs up like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one Yeah.